Hello, this is Warlord. What we're going to do today is look at a method of transferring a full body morph from a Dav Genesis character into iClone for a smooth morph transition. For this we'll be using the Lycan character. Now with the Lycan character loaded, uh, I'm in the Pose and Animate tab. I'm not going to need all these keyframes and to keep this simple I'm just going to reduce this to two keyframes. And in the first keyframe I'm going to go over here to the Lycan slider and I'm going to morph it back to the human form. Then I'm going to move over to the first or second keyframe as it actually is and I'm going to morph it back out. This will give us the two keyframes that we need. So what I will do now is get ready for export. As you can see I've done this many times. Be sure you have uh, just your final anything bake rule. This is the way we're set up. Hit accept. You notice he jumped around a little because of going through the morph. Now we're ready to go into uh, 3D Exchange and load him up. So, let's go get our lichen. We don't need any uh, animation from this. We just want that one morph. It's better to do this to create a character just to do your morph with. Then go back to your regular characters. That keeps any kind of other morph from interfering or, or jumping up while you're running down the timeline. It's a bit unpredictable right now. This keeps it to be predictable where you won't have a problem. So all we need to do is go into the expression editor and of course we want to make sure that our morph is in there. And you'll notice the hands are messed up. That's another reason why you'll only use this character for a transition. This may get corrected uh, I'm not even sure, I'm, I doubt they intended for full body morphs to be captured, but at least it is something we can use. So you can always hide the hands with camera or, or anything like that. So what we need to do now, since we know that we've got our characters, that we've got our uh, morphs in here, is just go into the expression editor. And there's two ways to do this. Now you don't want any visomies. It's okay to have eye and head, but you don't want anything in here. So go ahead and clear it out. Click on each one if you have to and clear. Uh, the muscle doesn't matter and for right now we we will go ahead and use custom to show you how to do this uh, in one method there's actually two methods this is not my preferred method of doing it because it's not real smooth but what we can do is click on rightward move that up to 100 percent and set it now the way I prefer to do it would be to use the jawbone or something like that I will go to the jaw move that up to 100 percent and set it we now have two different ways to trigger this morph. We can go into the face key and open the jaw, or we can go into the puppet and use the custom rightward tool. So now that we've got it set, we're ready to go ahead and go into iClone. Now let's take a look at the first way to do this, and that's using the puppet feature. This is not my preferred method because you can't really do it smoothly, but you would go into your 3DX custom, I'm in the first grouping here, and to preview to show you, when we move to the right, you'll get your morph. But now you also notice the eyeballs are moving out of place. That's because you need to uncheck the eyeballs, clear them, then go back and do your morph. So as you can see here, we can slowly do a morph, but the problem is we really can't do it smooth. When we play it back, this is what we get. It kind of jumps. That may look smooth to you, but when you see it up close, it's jumping and jerking just a little bit. So there is a way to do this better. So let's right click, remove all animation. Now I prefer using the face key method because it's just a little easier. And when we mapped our jaw, we actually mapped this part of the face key where we can use it to go ahead and trigger our morphing. So, let's reset all and let's move it down however, minute, however long you want it to be. I'm going to say right here, 335. Now I'm going to pull my morph. Now you can over morph and you can go back the other way when you do this. So, there's over morphing. So anyway, somewhere about right in there, that'd be your preference. And now we're going to have a nice 
smooth transition. Hide the hands with camera angles, props, whatever you have to do. Use this character for your on-screen transition. Then go back to your standard character. There's really nothing to it. 